Okay, let me just do a quick test so I can see if this AC is too loud. And yes, it is. So I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna endure the heat. I'm gonna endure the heat for y'all. I'm gonna endure the heat for y'all. Okay, hi everybody. So if you are a parent and you are down on hard times, you know, you know like the first thing that you're gonna do, um, you know, after you pick yourself up a little bit is go ahead and start reaching out and looking for those um, resources that you can do. And I've done so much research. I've done, I, if, if you can name it, I've probably already looked into it and things like that. And I wanted to share some things with you all. I just never wanted to just willingly just be like, go to a shelter, try Section 8. Because try Section 8 is people's favorite things to say. And they just act like you can just go sign up and then you get housed in a week. Like they just act like it's so simple, but it's really not. So um, <laughs> I'm not going to even just say go out and get Section 8, you know, I'm going to try to offer you some real advice. So for one, this is an opportunity that my friend had told me about, but it's not going to work out for me, but it could possibly work out for people who are, um, are watching my channel because I have noticed that a lot of people, I am getting a lot of people actually from Georgia. So, or a lot of people will travel around and if you want to move to Georgia, this can work for you as well. So the place is called, I'm going to be looking at my other phone as well to make sure I, I'm giving all of the information correctly. So the place is called Clover Ranch Manufactured Home Community. So it is a mobile home park in Hampton, Georgia, which is not too far from my area, which is why I was going to be okay with going. Um, it's probably like 35 minutes and I don't mind not living in the area that um i've been living in the last few years anyway um i was actually looking to go on the outskirts um of where i am but if you pull up their website they pretty much tell you they tell you a good bit about things but i haven't heard anybody talk about it um only my friend told me so these homes what make these homes so different from you know like the traditional things is you can actually own the mobile home. Like they're already made for you. I'm gonna put up some pictures so you can see the mobile, mobile home. They look nice, they're very nice. Um, so basically when you go on the website, it'll tell you that the prices usually start at $84,000 and you could put as low as 5% down, you know, depending, depending on your um, credit. So I did end up getting on the phone with somebody and pretty much if you have a job, like if you, if you can show that you can make a certain amount of money a month, um, then you're good. So pretty much they want, they, they care more about job longevity than they do about, um, about credit. So of course you all we all know that the lower your credit, you know, the more the more percent you might either have to put down or the more percentage that goes towards interest interest. So why I'm why am I telling you this when it's not gonna work for me? Because I feel like just because things don't work for me doesn't mean it's not gonna work for other people. This could be something that most definitely works for you. The reason why it's not gonna work for me is because even though it's a rent to home program even after you own it, you have to continue paying the park for um, to rent the space. I don't like that. So let me let me click on this so I can actually show you all. Um, I'm gonna screen record so y'all can see. So when you go to the floor plans, I'm just view this listing right here. Oh, my phone's going slow because okay so you can see the places look are, look really nice like that's why i was when my friend told me i was like yeah i'm gonna move in asap like <laughs> i'm gonna go right now but then i had looked at the fine print so this price is ninety four thousand dollars so it says a monthly payment starting from eleven thirty three. I was like, if it was a rent to own, I would be okay with paying fifteen hundred. My issue is I don't want to keep giving these apartments money 
when the apartments aren't living up to the standards that's my own that's really my only issue and that's the reason why i'm just taking my time before moving and why i was just staying in my car because people just think that i don't want to pay any bills i never said that i needed to make sense make it make sense that's my favorite term like make it make sense so example of payment breakdown rent to own a thousand and thirty dollars the purchase price ninety four thousand dollars and five percent down payment basically five thousand dollars so right here it says 658 monthly mortgage payment on approved credit. So then it says 1133 total monthly payments includes space, space rent of 528. So I'm like, hmm? So I'm paying the 658 to go towards my rent to own, but I'm paying 525 a month to rent the space how long i gotta do that so i called and i asked and you have to do that forever however long you decide to stay at um clover ranch manufactured homes you have to pay for the for the space you have to pay for the space and for me that doesn't make sense because it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense to me it doesn't make sense. I just feel as though if I'm doing a rental home own program, I want to own it. And that doesn't seem like ownership to me. So it may work for somebody else, which is why I'm putting it out there. I don't want to be so negative about it. I'm sorry about it's coming off negative, but it's not going to work for me. So um, again, this is Clover Ranch, manufactured homes. It's in Hampton, Georgia. Their telephone number is 770-796-0611. The community is a beautiful community. It's very beautiful. If it was something where um, I could pay, like, they had, like, a yearly fee. Like, let's say if it was even $2,000 a year, like, you had to pay to, you know, for the ground keeps and things like that. But $525 a month. And then that also can go up as well. That's just their rental space for right now. But it's just like an apartment. At any moment, they can push out a letter and be like, you know, you have to, you know, we're going up to 600 and the next year 700 You just never know. So that's why I had also posted about make sure that when you're doing these rent-to-own um, companies, that you're reading the fine print, that you're asking all the questions. Because I was literally like, going to, I was like let me just jump on on this like let me just go ahead and do this because I'm thinking okay I'm, I'm about to buy a car I was like instead of buying a car I can just go move here but then I look at the fine print and I'm like no that's not really the best option but I do want to talk to y'all about Divi I'm going to talk about Divi um in another video because I need to call them I haven't gotten on the phone with anybody it seems like they respond better to emails but it's stuck generic emailing and I don't like that. I want to speak to a human being so I can ask the questions I need to ask before I tell y'all about Divi because I think Divi is actually the way I want to go. Um, it's just, I just have to make sure I, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all about, I'm going to tell y'all about Divi. I'm going to tell y'all about Divi because I need to get some more, I need to get some more answers to my questions, but I really think Divi is a good one. You can go ahead and look up Divi um homes like look them up yourself so you can get like the baseline information but something is missing because i don't looked at a lot of videos and they not telling um they're not telling people something and it seems like a lot of videos are coming from people who work for divi or who are um real estate um agents and they keep on miss they keep on taking out a, a key point they're not telling y'all something so i'm gonna talk about divi in the next video because it's honestly what i really really want to do so you can look up Clover Ranch Homes on your own if that seems like something that you want to do. And then also you can look up Divi Homes and see if you have any questions. Um, and you can ask me any questions under this video for Divi Homes because I'm going to try to get in contact. I'm calling them again tomorrow to try to get in contact with somebody and then I can ask them the questions that y'all have too. So um, y'all let me know if y'all know any rent to home programs that y'all want me to call, that y'all want me to see what they really about. But one thing I can say, don't get on these rent to own websites and automatically sign up. If you have to sign up just to enter, just to look at these listings and, or pay a dollar, they like pay a dollar for the for the first week and then the next week is 
that's a scam don't do that it's don't don't do that y'all like i know that when you're down you are trying to find anything possible to get out of your situation anything possible just to be in a better position so you're not judged you know so you're children have a better well-being and things like that but you never want to do something that puts you 10 steps back from where you even was it's almost like those scammers who be like you if you give me 50 dollars, i'll give you 500 dollars." then they take your 50 dollars and you never see the 500 dollars, or they take your 50 dollars and they give you the 500 dollars in your bank but then your bank said you um you did fraud and then now you're going to jail for fraud for 500 dollars. like just don't do stuff so willy-nilly actually sit down think about it when you get hit with an opportunity i'm not saying be pessimistic about it because i'm a very optimistic person so i'm just saying really sit down think pray on it just be grounded in your decisions don't make decisions for nobody else make decisions for you and make sure that you're making the smart best decision for your life now because as we see life is ever changing and that's why sometimes it may seem like I may be going this way or going that way and then things might change it's because i'm a very adaptive person i'm going to adapt to what's going on if something is no longer working i'm going to change it i don't care that's how i've survived that's my survival tactic that's how i've been surviving for so long that's why i'm not in jail that's why i'm not on drugs like because i think about situations i think hmm do i really want to do this drug because how do how am i gonna keep on finding money to buy the drug how am i gonna keep finding drug dealers like it's just <laughs> it's just so many things that i asked before i even stepped in step into something like i make sure i find out the answers to my questions and then honestly i do like comfort i can't lie so that's why some people think my, like people who know me they're like girl you you live in your car like how's that comfortable i made it comfortable for me me making my own decisions is already like comfortable enough so just do things based on who you are and your and your well-being both who you are and your well-being okay so make sure y'all look those up if y'all have any other rent to own programs let me know. I'll look them up when I'm off. I'll call. I'll do all that. Answer all your questions. All right. Stay tuned for the next video.